Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to teach you how to take a penalty kick. So a penalty kick is awarded either when you get fouled in the box or it's often used at the end of a game for a cup matches where you need to decide a winner so you have a penalty shootout. The kick itself is 12 yards from goal so it seems like it would be very difficult to miss the target. However, it does happen and even at the top level we've seen the best players in the world miss deciding penalty kicks. And it's nothing to do with poor technique, it's more of a mentality issue. So there's a lot of pressure going into a penalty kick, especially if you need to score to win the game or if you need to score to avoid losing the game. So let's talk about a few tips you can use to help yourself get in a good frame of mind to take a penalty kick. So my first tip would be to place your own ball on the spot. Sometimes referees put the ball down, sometimes goalkeepers even put the ball down trying to distract the player who's about to take the kick. What I like to do is I like to be the last person to touch the ball. So I really set it up exactly how I want it then I can have full confidence that there's going to be no issues in the way that the ball is placed. So that's my first tip, place your own ball on the spot. My next tip would be to avoid looking at the goalkeeper. This isn't like a free kick where you're looking for the open areas of the goal and judging the goalkeeper's positioning to find the best place to shoot. The goalkeeper has to stand on his line which means the entire goal is exposed and you should already visualize your kick before you've taken it. So you've already decided before you stepped up to kick it where you want to put the ball. So if you are going to look at the goalkeeper, make sure it's not trying to find the open areas because the goalkeepers do all kinds of funky things to try and put off the shooter. Sometimes they'll stand to one side, they might do some weird dance or anything like that. So you don't want to put that distraction in your mind. You want to step up with confidence, already knowing where you're going to put the ball. So we've placed the ball down, we've already decided in our mind where we're going to put the ball. So now let's talk about the run-up. And this is completely dependent on you. You can play around with a few different styles of run-ups and see which is most comfortable. You see all different kinds of run-ups at the top level. You see guys who have a long run-up, you see guys who have a short run-up, some guys come from an angle, some guys approach the ball slowly, some guys come at it with more pace. So as you can see, there is no right or wrong way to approach the ball. Basically, the best run-up is the one that allows you to hit exactly on the ball that you want to be striking so that it goes exactly in the goal you want to be. For me, I just take a couple of steps back and I pretty much just step into the ball with a couple steps like this. So the area of the foot I like to use is almost the sweet spot, a little bit lower, more towards the area that you would use to pass the ball. We want to go for sheer accuracy when we're going for penalty kicks. Power is more on top of the laces here a more denser part of the foot so if you're just putting your foot through it that can always be a good option however you're going to sacrifice a bit of accuracy there so if you want to go for pure accuracy going for this part of the area of the foot where you would just pass the ball so i like to go in between because it's kind of in between the power zone and the accuracy zone so i'm going to get a little bit of power and also still getting the accuracy that i want to put the ball exactly where i want it and my final tip is just to practice penalty kicks over and over again the best penalty kick takers in the world rehearse them so many times in training and when it comes to a match, they already know where they're going to put the ball. And you don't need to train against a goalkeeper because if you put the ball far enough in the corner with enough power, even if a goalkeeper's in net, he's not going to do anything about it anyway. All right guys, so those are all my tips for taking a good penalty kick. Remember, it's all a confidence issue. The technique is not the problem. You just need to be confident, stepping up, and knowing you're gonna put the ball past the goalkeeper. And remember, never change your mind. When you've picked your spot, never change it. Always go for it with confidence. But that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe button for weekly training videos, and I will see you guys in my next video.